Hey everyone, it's me, Revan, and today we're going to take a look at what I thought was a figment of my imagination, the Joy Toy Terminator Chaplin Brother Vanius. Now, this is my first ever Warhammer Joy Toy figure, so excuse me if I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm also not that great at doing reviews, so... First, we have the very minimalistic box that shows you exactly what you're going to get. The box's matte finish is actually very nice. It's not overly glossy like a lot of figure boxes I've seen. Overall, very nice box. Great presentation. Then, once you take it out of the box, it is neatly packaged since I would have expected the packaging to maybe be a bit subpar for a figure of this price point. But once he's out of the box, the painting and the sculpting of this figure look amazing in some places, especially when comparing him to his tabletop miniature, which yes, I still need to paint that, but I will get to that eventually. And this figure is actually very chunky, so that makes him very solid. So that means he doesn't really have any loose joints, which is honestly a good thing. Now for a few of my nitpicks with this figure. So first things first, uh, yeah, the purity seals look a bit too dark for my taste, so I'll probably go back and highlight those, but we'll see about that. The outside of the cape is a very nice bright red and in the right lighting, it looks great. You can also see the effect a lot of us fail to imitate when we paint capes, but the inside of it looks good aside from the blue stripe, which I might paint over. The trim is also very nicely done, very crisp and easy to read, along with every single bolt being painted. The gold is a very nice shade and it's very bright and honestly looks a lot better than the base retributor armor that GW always uses. Also his eyes maybe could have used some attention too because looks a bit beady along with the lenses being a bit too meh. The skulls though are nicely weathered along with the parchment having some molded in details to see the beautiful squiggly lines we always put on our scrolls. A lot of the details on this figure are really well done, like the wreaths on his shoulders are nice and pronounced. Although, if it was me, the wreath would have been green instead of gold. I honestly feel like this is just an artist proof, but you only need to do the finishing touches. Also, I might repaint this right here because nobody likes the blueberries. Although, I probably shouldn't be complaining because if it had the highlights and all the things I have been nitpicking, the figure probably would have been price is expensive. For the accessories, he comes with all the things everyone's favorite and most expensive Terminator Chaplin would be expected to come with. A bonk stick, otherwise known as a Crozius, was really hard to get it into his hand because he has a tight grip, a comically oversized storm bolter, and four extra sets of hands. But it's really just if you want him only holding one weapon, or he has the Crozius like this, but I mean really, we all know we're going to display him holding both of them. I also noticed that my storm bolter had some paint chipping off of it. Not sure if this is intentional, but take that into account if you want to get one of these. I should also mention it is a massive bitch to remove and replace his hands. When I tried to do it for the video, yeah, the hand took the ball joint with it. So I gave up on changing them in this video for the review. And now we get to the part where everyone in the comments, I know you're going to say, oh my god, is that a Jobby reference? Or are you a Jobby fan? The answer to all of those questions is yes. So now I'm sure you're wondering how is the posability of the figure? Ball joint in the head, also it's really hard to get it to pose correctly cause small and close space. Ball joint to the large scrolls, swivel on the purity seals and scrolls on his belt. Really good ab crunch and side to side motion, can get some pretty funny poses with it. Uh, decent spread. Swiveled at the legs, not much range of motion. Also, this is the cape's range of motion. Hinge joint at the knee. A foot that can't really move back and forth that far, but a really good toe bend. And not that much ankle pivot. Ball joint in the wrist. Hinge joint that can also swivel at the elbow. Very limited range of motion at the shoulder. It's limited by this little piece right here. You can probably slice it for more range of motion, but I'm not doing that to mine. But let's be honest, we are all most likely going to pose him like his very expensive and smaller brother. Size comparison time. Here's his tabletop counterpart, an Armager, and the most recent Forge World model I have built, the Knight Asterius. And damn boy, he's thick. I'm pretty sure you also thought I was going to put in Mechs of the Warlord Titan. <laughs> and here he is next to the Titan. 
This Titan is a pain in the ass to move, so yeah, not taking it out of the display case. Overall, Brother Vanius is a very nice figure, considering if this was an anime figure, it would have probably been two times the price. I'm also not considering getting the Alaris Custodian, cause reasons. Although this figure does have its minor flaws, it's overall a very nicely made figure, very solid, decent posability, and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg like his tabletop counterpart. Although you could argue it does, since it honestly shouldn't have been this much compared to other Terminators. Overall, if we ignore my nitpicks, it's a 4 out of 5 figure. But if you would like to get one for yourself, you can either get it from the Joy Toy website or the Big Bad Toy Store. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment down below if this is going to be a new addiction on top of Warhammer like it might be for me. I also have a Discord server and I stream to YouTube now every week. So thank you so much for watching and remember, being poor is a choice. Okay, bye.